come see my garden and come see my amazing roses. This is part of the series that I'm doing. Uh, people have asked me to talk about some of the roses that I have, let them see what they look like when they're fully grown. Because sometimes you see a picture of a rose and you think, oh, that looks really good, but you're not sure what it's going to look like when it's fully grown. So this rose has been in the ground about 20 months, so not quite its two year period. It's called Elysium Fields and it's a modern shrub rose and it will grow to be about 1.5 metres. At the moment, it's about a metre tall. And look at the beautiful, beautiful flowers that are already on there. It's a kind of swirl of orange and yellow and cream as well. And as you can see, the bees love them. These are actually our beautiful native bees that we get in Queensland, enjoying being inside that rose. Now to grow roses, these ones came bare rooted and that means that the roots are all exposed. They have them wrapped, they're nice and moist. You must put them in water in a bucket and get them into the ground as soon as you possibly can. And in our warm climate here, I was watering uh, all of my roses every three to four days without fail, a deep water and a water at the base. Only ever water your roses down at the base. Don't waste the water on top. If you're living in a climate like me where you get a lot of different funguses, that will only increase the amount of fungus that you get. So get right down low and put the water right down deep where you can see the red tag down there. That's the base. Make sure the water goes right down deep in there and you'll end up with a beautiful, healthy rose like this. Six to eight hours of sunshine every day out in the open so that the air can get around it. And you too will end up with the most beautiful roses like these. Elysium Fields, a modern shrub rose. I just love the color of this rose and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.